Similar calls for peace and justice in St. Petersburg last night took a turn that some are calling disruptive. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck spent the day in the community getting a reaction to the tense moments caught on camera, speaking to the police chief and hearing from the protesters who say that video does not tell the whole story. Beach Drive, it's a popular, picturesque place to dine. But Wednesday night, Channing filled the air as a Tampa Bay Times reporter caught this moment on camera at Park Shore Grill. We don't know what led up to this encounter, but you see a protester who sits at a couple's table. This is my table. Refusing to leave, then hurling insults. Disrupting other people's dinner. I mean, what's the point of that? Who, who is that going to win over? Earlier, the Tampa Bay Times recording as a protester walks across the roof of a car and another hits a skateboard on the hood. Police Chief Anthony Holloway says overall the protests were peaceful. St. Pete PD didn't receive any phone calls from either the restaurant management or customers, and the owner of this car did not press charges. The officers were in the area. We were just waiting for a call from the manager to ask us to ask the person to be removed. Holloway says since the restaurant is private property, they can't respond without a formal complaint. Peaceful protesting is not going to someone's table and interrupting. We caught up with some of the protesters as they took part in a weekly neighborhood cleanup. They wouldn't talk on camera, but told us that these videos don't tell the whole story. They say the driver in the car nearly ran over a protester and that the restaurant patrons were making rude gestures. Lila Porter worries about confrontations escalating. No, that is totally disrespectful and wrong. No, that's, that's out of line. That is not protesters. That's people who are trying to start trouble. Protesters plan to march again tonight, but they're urging the group to use peaceful demonstrations to get their message across. In St. Pete, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.